What's going on, guys? I am homeless. If it makes you guys happy, uh, there you go. Because that makes you happy to hear somebody say they're homeless, and there you go. That makes you feel good. I want you to take that and run with it. Guys, look, let me give you guys the breakdown of what's going on. I just talked to Paris. Shout out to Paris, okay? Unlike other people that try to act like they're my friend, act like, you know, they're rocking with me, he actually called me because he is so confused. He wanted to understand what's going on. He thought that I was down bad. He thought that I was really homeless out here, like living in the car, doing whatever, okay? Because of the fact he saw a bunch of comments from people and he saw me react to a couple of those and it made it seem like I was down bad. So let me give you guys a breakdown of what's going on and let me be more clear because I guess it ain't really my responsibility to tell you guys what's going on in my life, but at the same time, it's a duty of mine if I want YouTube to work for me. So I'm going to break down what's going on and we can move on and, and, you know, I guess you guys can worry about, you know, kids dying on the streets, kids starving, whatever. We can worry about other things that matter. Unlike um, my life, it's not that important. It shouldn't be that important to most of you guys. To, for me to have 70 comments trying to get me to like crash out and like be down on myself when it ain't that serious. So let me make a few things clear. Shout out to Paris once again because he actually made it clear that a lot of you guys are worried. Um, but most of you guys are just happy thinking that I'm just down bad. That, you know, now that me and Kylie girl aren't, you know, together for the most part i'm here and she's there um it's bad for me so first thing is first trailer okay i'm choosing to get into trailer world trailer life whatever you want to call trailer park living due to the fact that it's a sacrifice for my son my son wants me in wilmington now, I can go get an apartment because I have one right now that all I have to do is sign the E sign, do the E sign, and I'm there. But guess what? That apartment is $1,600 with electric, parking, everything included is going to be about $600 a month. And I was about to sign that. It's a nice apartment. It's like in a new, newly developed building. Like the building's only three years old. It's like right over a lake. It's beautiful. But do I need that? Or did I get it to try to be flossy? Did I get it to try to show you guys on YouTube that I'm balling? I'm the man. I did it because of that. I did it for ego. I did it to try to impress you guys when that was the wrong reason, stupid reason to do it. Ask not a reason to do it. Okay? So let me break down something to you guys. In Wilmington, look it up for yourself. To get a place that you look at the reviews and there's no roaches and there's no mice in the building, whatever. Okay? Forget about the mice, but no roaches. You're paying at least $1,100 for a studio period also to be in a safe secure location you're paying a thousand dollars to twelve hundred dollars a month for rent that does not include parking all the nicer places you got to pay for parking now if you don't care about roaches running outside your door and possibly getting inside seeing a big polymental bug or whatever they're called here and there you get a decent place for nine hundred to a thousand dollars but now you got to worry about your safety now i gotta worry about my son and us leaving and robbed that night the fact that i'm going to be coming in and out at night time um, that's the factor that I really wanted to consider. You know, do I want to be in a place that my door can be kicked in because of a loony YouTube commenter that takes YouTube world to real life? Because I forgot to tell you guys. I didn't forget. I just didn't want to tell you guys because I didn't want, you know, Kylie girl to be worried and scared because she would be angry knowing that one of you guys put a note on my motorcycle that said, we know where you live at. Okay. Now, I'm assuming it's one of you wackos because nobody in my complex would just do that for no reason. Okay, I don't do nothing wrong or do nothing to anybody there. I'm quiet. So was one of you guys that wanted to scare me. And that happened a week before that shooting happened. So that's the reason why I went ghost on YouTube. And I wanted you guys to just think I already left because I didn't want anybody to pull up on me. Okay, so next thing is this. I moved out on the first. Actually, I moved out on the fourth because I went to Vegas and I came back on the fourth and I moved out. Or actually, the third, and I moved out on the fourth. Okay, I was out of there. My situation is this, guys. I put everything that I owned that was there in a storage unit. Okay, the only thing I brought with me was two suitcases with clothes, my book bag with my laptop, with my Chromebook, with all my you know my notebooks, everything I need, and I took my talents to Vegas because of the fact. I can get comped hotel rooms, okay? Now, of course, I have to play to that point, but I'm gonna get free hotel rooms. So what I did was, I came 
And I'm not going to tell you the hotel name because I was actually because of a commenter that left a long throw message. This is one of the guys trying to act like he's the homie. He's cool with me. But for you to be cool with somebody, why would you write something like that? That would only cause people to say that your your friend that you call it's the guy you want to call your friend is homeless. Why would you want to do that to the guy? But he put a long comment up. And I responded, and then I deleted my comment and said, I'm not going to respond to this dude. Because you know what? Every time something good is going on in my life, he always writes a comment to be a Debbie Downer to try to make anything I do and I got going on bad. Okay? So I'm talking about how much money I'm making. I'm talking about how I got this money. Okay? I got a few thousand dollars and I got a check on Friday coming. Or not a check, but a deposit that's going to hit on Friday. Okay? For my insurance. So I'm going to have enough to buy a trailer or put down for a trailer. Okay? Why would I want to tell you guys, not all of you guys, but majority of the, the haters that are in the comment section where, what hotel I'm in, to where they're going to see my car, and guess what they're going to do? They're going to pull up to that hotel, see my car, and be waiting outside random times for me to come out, and then they can follow me, and they can hit a lick on me. Why would I do that? How stupid would I be? That's like the guy that wrote the long comment for me, to, for him to prove that he has a place I want to see where you live at, and I want you to do it on YouTube. Okay, if you really care, you would have you would have called me and said, bro, you good? Like you need a weekly? I'll send you money for a weekly if you really care. But no, you didn't do that. Paris actually called and said, yo, you need money to get a weekly? I got you. I'm like, bro, see, this is why people, I get mad at, at people that act like they're cool with me. They write these long comments because they make it seem like I'm crashing out. They make it seem like I'm down bad to where you wrote me or called me worried because of that message. And I hate it because I got freaking over 60 messages on that last video majority of them are all negative nasty calling me dumb stupid crashing out whatever how what do you expect from a guy i'm just a normal guy trying to make it happen okay i'm making a sacrifice for my son before we get to the trailer situation let me explain to you guys something okay why would i tell you guys on youtube what hotel i'm staying at if i plan on staying at this hotel for multiple weeks in vegas for free because i'm about to get my comps back why would i tell you guys to where somebody could pull up to me and I'm at the crap stay, but they see how much money I'm I'm playing with because I gotta keep my comps going, so I gotta play. And then they could follow me, like if I'm I get caught slipping, if I go walk outside to go to the 7 Eleven to get something, they can pull up on me and get get grab me. And they know I'm not gonna do what I'm gonna do. I don't have a gun on me. Okay? What am I gonna do? Why would I why would you put me in that situation being a military guy, the guy, one guy I'm talking about, you're a military guy, you should know enough to not want me to do a video showing I'm in a hotel room. Why would, why? And then you know what, let me make you feel good. I'm sleeping in the car. Does that hurt? Like if I told you I was sleeping in a car, which I'm not, I have a hotel room. I could be sleeping in the car tomorrow because the hotel room I have paid until, or not paid, but I have booked until the 17th of this month. But I'm hoping that my comps start tomorrow, okay? And I have a choice to stay in a hotel room or stay in the car at that point because I don't have to check in with booking.com okay but guess what i'm gonna probably check in because i made enough money sports betting that it ain't gonna hurt me at all or i can also do doordash and grab up and that pays for the hotel room hotel room is only 60 dollars a night so my question to you bro is why would i come on here and tell people what hotel i'm staying at just to prove a point to you and then don't act like you want to call me and check them in a hotel room you're not my dad why would I have to prove to you that I'm in a hotel room? What good is that giving you? You're not offering to pay for it. You're not sleeping next to me. You're not freaking trying to help me. So why do I have to prove myself to you that I'm sleeping in a hotel room? When have I told you to show me your beautiful place that you're paying for that you have in freaking where you're at? No, you. I haven't asked you that. I haven't asked nobody to prove anything other than you guys that act like you guys got life on lock. Show me your account or don't come on my channel talking about how you this big baller. I don't want to hear it. But let's get back to the point. It's about sacrifice, ego. Okay, four years ago, I would never, three years ago, I've never considered staying in a trailer park or getting a trailer because I thought that was beneath me because I have a ego that have has diminished, that have gone to crap because there's bigger and more important things such as my son, you know, my daughter. So right now, my son just wants me. He just wants time with me. He wants me to train him. That's all he cares about. He doesn't care about theatrics. He doesn't care about a brand, brand new spanking nice apartment to come and stay at. He doesn't care to stay with his mom in their, their beautiful house. She's a big baller. He'll just stay there. I can have my little freaking one room trailer for all he cares. It doesn't matter. He just wants time with me. Okay? So I had to look at it. If I can get a small trailer, okay? 
let me show y'all what I'm talking about here. This trailer right here for 13,000, this is pretty much new, like 2022, it's pretty much new. This is what you're getting. You're getting a shower, a toilet, you're getting a bunk bed, okay? You're getting a dinette set right there. You're getting a little refrigerator, a little kitchen, and you got your queen bed. You could put a TV on a stand right there by the dinette. That's all you're getting. That's a little small trailer. Let me show you guys the inside of this thing, okay? Real quick. Let's let's just go to it. Show you what we're talking about. Super basic. Okay, you see that? This is what you're getting. This is what you're getting for ten to twelve thousand dollars. Just enough to get by, okay? That's what you're getting, okay? Now, let me show you. Don't mind my finger because my nails are bad. Okay, guys, come and bite my nails because I'm nervous. Let me show you what I want, okay? What I actually want to have, okay? Hold on, let me put this right here. Let me show you guys what I want to have. This thing is tripping. This one, brand new, is 63 pretty much. Thousand dollars, six four thousand. But I would get it used, okay, for about fifty thousand. This is what I really want right here, okay. Nice area for the bedroom, in the bedroom, okay. You see that? You got nice shower area, comfortable stairs that lead down to your kitchen. This is what you're getting here. You got a nice little living room with TV area right there. You got enough shelving. You got a nice dining room table. You got a little island kitchen, sink. Double sink, you got a, a residential microwave, stove, you got closet there, you got fireplace. This is what I want. But guess what? I might not be able to get this right away. I can't afford it. This is the size of an apartment. So why, if I can get this, which is the size of an apartment, and own it, or if I make payments, you got 20 years to pay it off. Okay. Everything I need. Everything that I want. Why wouldn't I go the trailer route? Okay. I wouldn't go because of my ego. I wouldn't go because of me being embarrassed and ashamed of what you guys would think of me. You know, what people that don't really truly care about me would think of me. You know? You know, my ego gets in the way because you know what I can actually do. And a lot of people will probably support me. I can actually do a GoFundMe and I can put on there. I'm trying to get a tra raise money for a trailer. So that way I can, you know, be with my son and, and get a trailer that will help me tremendously right now. But my pride won't allow me to do it because I care too much what people think. A lot of you guys that don't care what you guys think. Otherwise, I would do a GoFundMe and put it on my YouTube. I mean, on my YouTube and my um Facebook page, and I'm pretty sure I would probably get enough donations that I could probably buy that trailer with all the people I looked out for, okay? It'd probably take a month or two, but I'm pretty sure I can get enough support that people will, you know, help me get this trailer, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to work my butt off to make enough money to get the trailer that I want. Now, once again, I might have to get the $12,000 trailer that I own that I live in for a year or two to save up enough money to get the bigger trailer, and the bigger trailer would be something I would have for five to ten years. Okay, have it until it falls apart. But ultimately, it's something I'm going to own, something that is going to be more reasonable than me paying for five years, okay, almost $20,000 for rent and utilities every month when I can get the same situation set up to where it's going to be lower than apartment for five years and I'm going to own it in five years and not have to make payments on it. Why wouldn't I do that? So let's get back to the point at hand. That's the reason why I'm in Vegas. I'm in Vegas that way. I got about two, three more weeks that, you know, I told my son because he said, you know what? You don't got to rush right now because I don't have nothing going on anyway. Okay. He's spending time with his mom. He was with me for a whole month. So I decided to stay a little longer, but stay in Vegas because I know I can get comp hotel rooms and I know that I can grind it out with DoorDash, Grubhub, and all these apps. That's the reason why I decided to come to Vegas. Not to chase a gambling dream, nothing more than being able to grind it out with the apps, be able to buy and sell phones, and live for free in a hotel room for now. I only got two bags. And by the way, the reason why I bring everything with me, the person that wrote that comment, is because I knew that there was a chance when I got back 
to California, anything could have happened. The window was freaking broke. It could have, once again, it rained, which I had to sit around for an hour and wait to, to get back on the road. I might have been tired. I may have not wanted to drive all the way back. And guess what? My checkout is for tomorrow morning. And I don't check into the another room until tomorrow morning because I set my reservation up for freaking days instead of the whole time because of the fact once I get comped, I don't want to be checked in because I don't get that money back, okay? But maybe if you would have asked me, I would have explained that to you because you don't know how comps work, okay? Like, you don't get that money back if you book through a booking.com or Expedia, okay? You only get the money back if you book directly through the hotel. And if you book directly through the hotel, the cost of the hotel is full price. They don't give you the discount. Expedia, the hotel room is like 25, 30% less than what it would be booking directly from the hotel, okay? That's the reason why I do what I do. And I didn't know if I was gonna be back or not in time, which is why I got my two bags with me. I don't leave my stuff. You should know by now, because when I was doing gig work and I had a whole apartment, I brought everything with me. Like I don't leave my stuff alone in places that somebody can come into. And I knew that there's a chance I may not have made it back. I'm still not back. I'm actually three hours away. Like I'm actually sitting here because I'm doing school work that I gotta have done by midnight. So I'm doing my work and I'm tired. I might freaking go and freaking like, um, pull, like not get back until like six in the morning, okay? But once again, it doesn't matter because this is my life. This ain't your life. It shouldn't matter if I'm in the car, if I'm in a hotel room, if I'm here, if I'm there, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm not hurting you and you're not paying for anything. But the reason why I'm doing this video is to make it clear of my intentions, okay? My intentions for my life is to get back to my son, okay? To have livable, doable cost of living, okay? To where I can enjoy my life, my time with my son, get back the time we missed, get him trained, and not struggle no more, and pay all my debt off, and actually be able to own something eventually like a house, not pay for rent at an apartment just to keep up with the Joneses, okay? On top of all that, my mental health, I'm happy right now because I don't owe nothing really. Like I got debt, of course, but I'm talking about I don't owe, I'm not on a hook for nothing really other than this rental car. That's $23 a day. Like, because they let me have this rental car, this freaking Atlas, this beautiful Atlas, okay? Um, I wanted a bigger car anyway. They let me have it for the cost of the four-wheeler to make up for me driving back and forth from Vegas, okay? So, you gotta understand, the reason why I'm not on YouTube is because of the fact that you have 70 comments. Understand, when YouTube blew up for me and I was going through it with my son's coach and all these different things that was going on, the reason why I went off of YouTube and I stopped doing YouTube was because of the fact I couldn't take the negativity, I couldn't take the people that were acting like they're my friends but coming off phony behind my back, writing long messages talking all kinds of crap to do nothing but make me look bad and i'm like so confused that i just had a manic episode and just bounced i'm like i don't i can't take this no more i don't want that to happen again which is why i'm not really on youtube but at this point i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna just do my thing i'm just gonna stop giving people that don't really have best intentions for me my space my time because before writing a long comment in my comment section throwing shots and and whatever trying to like you know, cook me out. Why not just give me a phone call like Paris did and say, hey, like Nab does, say, hey, what's going on? And by the way, Nab, if you watch this, make sure you call me tomorrow. I forgot to call you. You called me when I was in the middle of betting and I didn't answer the phone because I was betting. Uh, my bad. But if you want to call me, I'll answer tomorrow when you're free. We could talk. But yeah, call me. I'll tell you what's going on. But you won't see Nab talking all kinds of crazy stuff because he understands if I didn't get back with him, it ain't because I'm crashing out, it's because I'm busy. Okay? But once again, I don't care about the optics of it. The trailer life is only so that way I can have my son and not have a high cost of living. So I'm gonna do trailer life. As much as I'd rather not live in a trailer, I'm gonna live in a trailer because that's the best thing for me and my family. That's gonna allow me to save money. But for you to like sit there and try to like degrade me and try to make it seem like I'm like stupid, I can't, I don't know how to live. Dude, I've been living all my life. Like, I've been in California for two years. Forget about the past two years. Prior to that, I've always had my own place, car. Other than that year that of time between the past 16 years or 18 years, I didn't have my own place. I've always had my own place and car. Okay? Do I get a cookie? No, because that's being an adult. But now, because you out of nowhere became cool with me, now you want to, like, tell me how I'm supposed to live? Like, what, what do I do? Do I stay in California and find a place that I'm paying 
a twelve hundred dollars for and not have my son to make you happy to to I guess make it and survive? No, that's stupid. Why would I do that? Like all I'm asking for is grace and compassion and respect. You you so many of y'all asked me to go back to my son. Y'all asked me to go back to Wilmington where it's gonna be lower cost of living, California's expensive, it's dangerous, all these things. And I actually say, you know what? Why wouldn't I just go back? And I, I'm going back. And you still aren't happy that I got to have 70 comments and 55 of them are freaking negative. Just going off. Just just whatever. To make me feel like nothing but crap. And, you know, it sucks because I'm not a weak person. And I could easily just ignore the comments. But it sucks because I want to respond to everybody. But I got to, like, like, keep my poker face on and act like I'm okay with that nasty comment you just left me. When half of y'all ain't got y'all stuff together. And shout out to Sabrina. Sabrina, um, I forgot the last name. Sabrina Jerome. For some reason, I can't respond to none of your messages. Whenever I try to respond to your message, it always says action is not allowed. I don't know why. I don't know if you delete the message after you post it or what. But yeah, it doesn't let me respond. So just know I'm not ignoring your message. I just can't respond. Or hit the like button. It's for some reason, let me know if you're blocked or something. I'm just so confused. Because you're not blocked. I don't know why I can't respond to your messages, but you be like at these people neck like none of these people are going to come on my channel and show their place that they own. Most of these people are renting and for the cost of their rent, they can own a trailer, a nice one if they wanted one. Like, you know, and own that thing in a few years, like nobody owns homes. Nobody really you don't want a beater. Like it's so many of y'all that are so excited about bragging about your two or three thousand dollar beater. Like, why would, oh, dude, I get it. You own a $3,000 beater. Not everybody wants an old ass car, okay? Not everybody wants to live minimalist or minimal, okay? Maybe people want to just have a nice car they're gonna have to work a little harder to pay for, okay? If I want a nicer truck because I'm gonna be driving that truck across the country and I wanna make sure it don't break down because I'm gonna be driving that, that, freaking, tor that um, freaking fifth wheel that I'm trying to get, that I wanna get ultimately, but I'm gonna end up with the, the baby boy um, a trailer for now. Why would I get something that's going to be crap, okay? Just to make you guys happy so I can say, hey, I paid $5,000 for this truck. I got a good deal. Like, come on, man. Like, when are we going to get to reality that just because you want to live life a certain way don't make it bad? I would never bash you for living life the way you live it. <laughs> if you want to have cheap stuff, then good for you. I'm happy for you. But guess what? I'm going to do what I feel is best for me once again, my family. So with that all said, let me wrap up by saying, guys, trailer is so that way my cost of living is cheap for my son so i can focus more time and not on grinding all day because i'm behind on my bills i could pay my debt off because i'll be caught up secondly i'm not broke but if you guys want to think i'm broke you want to donate then hey my cash app is uh what is it dennis well actually my cash app is let me show you my cash app let's see how many of you guys send money on cash app you watch all the way through let's see if you guys send money on cash app all you guys that care so much about me. Let's see if you send me Cash App money. Okay? Here's my Cash App name. Actually, let's see. Yeah, right here. Dennis Jerome Jr. There you go. You want to Cash App me? Send the money to Dennis Jerome Jr. Okay? And if you really care about me, say, Dennis, make a GoFundMe. I'll make a GoFundMe tomorrow. Tonight. And y'all can hit my GoFundMe up and help get me in this trailer. If you guys really care about me. But otherwise, Stop. I'm going to do it on my own. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to get in that trailer. Just like when I told y'all to get in that high rise. I made it in the high rise and I moved out of the high rise. Now I want to get in the trailer. I'm going to get in the trailer. Okay. I said it and I made it happen. Yes. It took help somewhat in between. You know, I got to give a big shout out to Kylie girl for all that she's done. Okay. But guess what? I'm a big boy. I can do it all on my own. Like I've been doing it all my life. And that's what's going to happen. I'm going to get to Wilmington in a trailer. And if I don't make enough to get that trailer before, you know, the end of the month, then I'm gonna have to just suck it up and get a apartment and just pay a thousand dollars a month and just have to grind it out. That's life. But my son needs me there so I can train him with his basketball, get him right. And that's what we're gonna do. So with that said, now let's see what we get in responses on this long video that I'm gonna put on Premiere so that way you guys can digest and take it all in. Actually, you know what, I'm not gonna put it on Premiere. I'm gonna just let it, um, I'm going to let it go so that way all the comments will stay so that way I can see it. Now somebody's talking about the army. Like, what are we doing here? We're just out of control. We're out of control. But if you watched all the way through, hit that like button on this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. 
appreciate you guys for tuning in. That's all I got. Thank you. I'm out. Peace.